Hey guys, today's topic is circumcision. I'm gonna tell you how I feel about it morally, how I feel about it sexually, which I prefer, and what I think parents should do. And uh, this is actually a collab with Sanders Kennedy, who is a fucking badass, so if you guys would please check in the description for his version of this. Yeah, it's gonna be pretty awesome. I actually met him through doing the bullying collab, and he's just, he's a great guy, very outspoken, just a really cool dude, so check him out. It's gonna be an awesome video, I'm sure. I'm also gonna add in a few of my personal stories about circumcision, because I have had experience with both circumcised and uncircumcised penises. But first, let's start out with the moral aspect of it. Do I think it's wrong or right to circumcise your kids? I personally, it's hard for me to say for sure 100% what I think, but if I had a kid, I would not circumcise them. I feel like there are uh, pros and cons to doing both, but I feel like if you leave your kid uncircumcised, and then make sure he takes care of it and make sure you take care of it as a parent when he's a baby, then there's like a zero problems that I can perceive from having an uncircumcised penis. The biggest problems that I've seen with uh, uncircumcised penises are when uh, the man can't pull the foreskin back all the way at all, even when he's erect. It's just like, it's not extra skin, it's actually like a hood that stays over the penis. And this is bad because, first of all, a lot of women don't like this and it looks very odd to women, but not just like a sexual aspect and what's like sexy to people. It also can get a lot of bacteria in there. There's actually like a, a certain scum that forms if you don't clean it. And if you can't pull it back to clean it, then it's really hard to clean it. And I've seen a lot of European guys that have this problem. I actually dated a guy for a while. He was in a metal band. Um, and I was a cheerleader and it was really cute. And we had a lot of great sex, but the thing that bothered me the most about his uncircumcised penis was the fact that he couldn't pull the skin back. And that made it smell kind of weird. And like, I couldn't even imagine, like it's not like he was, you know, not very hygienic. I couldn't imagine how he could like optimally get in there and clean things. And I feel like a lot of kids um, have parents who understand this. And when they do have uncircumcised kids, they make sure as a baby, they pull the foreskin back and kind of work it. And I know that sounds a little gross, but um, parents are actually supposed to take care of the uncircumcised boys, uh, uncircumcised hood so that it's not too tight. Because it being too tight or it being stuck on the top can actually lead to like huge complications that aren't just about hygiene. So I feel like if you just eradicate that and you just kind of work it and if it's too tight, you work it so that it can be pulled back. And I'm not talking about like always having it pulled back. Um, I'm just talking about like, like usually when people are circumcised and, or people are uncircumcised and they have like a flaccid penis, they keep the hood over the head because the head is uh, ultimately just more sensitive because your whole life you've had that protective hood over the head of your penis. Well, um, I'm just talking about being able to, like when you get hard, the head of the penis actually comes out of the hood and the extra skin. I love uncircumcised penises. Like, I'm not gonna lie, uncircumcised penises that are done right, I guess you would say, are my favorite. I strongly prefer uncircumcised to circumcised when, it, when you can pull the skin all the way back and when uh, the erect penis actually just looks like a circumcised penis with a little more leeway to the skin. Because first of all, this is like amazing for foreplay and amazing for jerking your dick. If you can move the skin up and down, you don't need lotion. You don't need lotion to play with it or like a lot of saliva to play with it uh, when you're with your like girlfriend or boyfriend or whatever. And it's, it's just like tons and tons better. And I think it looks better, it looks thicker, it's natural. And honestly, when I see the scar and you can like, it's the scar is visible, it's not like completely in the way of anything. But when you're looking at um, a circumcised penis, you can see the scar and then when um, the man tans the penis or he just is tan, there's like a little ring of like, lighter skin, I guess I would say. And that's like unappealing to me. Obviously it's not a deal breaker. I've had sex with uh, half, I guess at least, if not more. Uh, of my sexual encounters were with circumcised penises and it's not that big of a deal but I just feel like if I was a man or if I had a kid I would want him to be able to make the choice and um, really I don't agree with the moral reason that circumcis bleh, circumcision came about in the first place which is a religious reason um, people didn't like the fact that you could masturbate if you had the extra skin or whatever and it was like something that was done religiously in the first place and I know that's not the reason that a lot of people do it here in North America these days or wherever they're doing it these days like Jewish you know families or whatever I don't know why Jewish people do it I, I don't I think it's just like a becoming a man type of thing and you get it done when you're like a certain age I don't know but in America when you're just like of any faith or creed but you just live in America it's usually like a thing that's not even thought about it's just like yeah let's do it we live in America are right, we got a little boy okay he'll be back from circumcision and it's like there's a lot of uh, stories I've read where they don't even really ask you it just kind of happens and I feel like that's fucked up because there are pros and cons and it is a personal deci decision and it does suck when you if you grow up and you're like a man and you're like okay 
I want to get my penis circumcised. So there's downtime, there's more complications when you're older. You actually have to deal with the healing, no sex for a while, no masturbation for a while. Um, it can get infected. You don't have someone taking care of your like tiny little penis that doesn't see any, you know, action or anything. It's, it's a lot harder if you decide to get circumcised as an adult, but I feel like there's no reason to want to get circumcised as an adult unless you have the complications from being uncircumcised. Um, what else is there? Okay, so it's hard for me to say, like there's obviously no objective morality, right? So there's pros and cons and you should do whatever you feel is best for your kid. If you honestly and strongly feel like it would be wrong to maintain his penis or that he could possibly like not take care of it in his teens and then get infections or you just think that it'll be easier for him in his sex life, like that's up to you and it's a personal decision. But for me, I strongly believe that foreskin is the way to go. I feel like most of the countries in the world, they just leave the foreskin there. Um, I think uh, maybe, does Africa also circumcise at a certain age for men? I think they do. I, I feel like the only basis I have to go off of the circumcision of African males in Africa is uh, the Kunt Kinte movie, The Fucking Roots or whatever. I, I remember he was at a certain age and they were going to do that as like a rite of passage or something as becoming a man. And um, it just, it feels like with all religion and with all tradition, it feels so antiquated and it feels so um, non, it doesn't feel necessary. It feels so unnecessary to do something like that, especially just for you know, the fact that tradition has been so ingrained in our society and we like should or shouldn't do that. I don't, I've never met anyone who was born in the U.S. who wasn't circumcised. And um, the only men that I've met uh, that, are, that aren't that are circumcised are, you know, men from Europe and stuff like that. So I personally strongly prefer um, uncircumcised penis if it's done right. If it's done wrong, it can be kind of gross and like unattractive. And I was actually watching a few days ago uh, a Shannon Rose vlog. I hadn't watched her videos in so long, but she was talking about like gross things that she's done in porn. And she was talking about how uncircumcised penises sometimes smell bad or whatever. And that's like such a bad vision that so many American women have about uncircumcised penises. Like, it's not like that at all. There are like uncircumcised penises where you can't even tell unless you think about it and don't see the scar and then it's just like better because it's more natural and it's more fun to play with. And I can't imagine being like, ew, uncircumcised penises are gross. I feel like those girls just don't really know what a penis is supposed to look like or they're judging them based off of their flaccid penis, which makes no sense like at all. Like, why would you be judging the, you know, I, I don't know, I don't even mind the hood over the flaccid penis. I think flaccid penises are sexy too. I would just rather see them hard and, you know, erect and iron-like and manly, you know, like that's the, the epitome of eroticness to me. I don't know. Eroticity. Like toxicity. I don't know. <laughs> I had really fun, uh, I had a really, really good time recording this video. I think it was a lot of fun and I hope I portrayed my opinions correctly. I would like to know what you guys think in the comments. Uh, please let me know if you are circumcised or uncircumcised, if you enjoy it or don't enjoy it, if you have the problem with not being able to pull the skin all the way back. Um, if you decided to get circumcised at an older age, it's very interesting to me because I feel like you gotta be really, really motivated to do something like that because it's kind of like getting your tubes tied as a man, you know, like uh, getting your fucking whatever. What do they call it as a man? I don't know. Now I can't remember. Anyway, um, like you have a reason to do that. Like you don't want kids or your wife doesn't want any more kids and you guys don't want to use contraception. That's a pretty good reason to do something like that. And it doesn't actually mutilate and scar your penis. So I feel like someone would have to be very motivated and have like a hundred American girls in America you know, you're from Europe and you moved to America and 100 American girls are like, ew, that's gross, because they'd like see your flaccid penis or something, or you got some kind of infection, I don't know. But yeah, uh, Sanders Kennedy's video is gonna be in the description. Also the video that I did for sex ed about uh, cut or uncut penises, which is gonna be less, um, less opinionated, obviously, because it's a sex ed, so it's gonna have more facts and I love you guys so much. I hope you enjoyed this and I hope this was entertaining for you. I will see you guys tomorrow or in two days from now with a new vlog. I love you so fucking much and I will see you guys soon. Mwah! And yes, I do not turn down people just because I have circumcised penises. But I might turn someone down who has a very, very unattractive or smelly penis. So keep that in mind, uncircumcised guys. <laughs> Bye.